How we all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I am God Eloway. In today's video, we're going to be discussing three things that I wish I learned and knew way, way back when I first started manifesting and applying this stuff. Um, I'm very grateful for the way that my life is, uh, you know, has turned out in the direction that it's heading in, but I can't help but feel if I had learned these things and really started implementing these things when I first started, um, my life would have been in a much propelled state um, even right now. But make no mistake, I am very grateful for the way that my life is right now in the direction that it's heading, but I am intending that this helps you. Um, the first thing is to get very clear, be receptive and real with yourself involving what you desire. So for example, a lot of you guys are manifesting an SP. Being clear isn't sitting there, like if I ask you what do you deeply desire and you reply with saying, oh, I want them to be committed to me. I want them to love me. I want them to shower me with love and, and communicate with me all the time. That is not a deep desire, in my opinion. That is not a deep sense of clarity. A deep sense of clarity would be defining the goal as a whole. What you would want your beliefs to be involving yourself, involving relationships and love as a whole, involving them in relation to you, how you would want to feel, how you want them to feel being around you, right? How you want them to treat you, maybe how you'd be treating them. Just define the goal, what your life would look like, right? How other people would treat you guys as a happy couple. Do you want marriage? Do you want a relationship? How do you want to feel? What does it mean to be married? To you, what does a healthy marriage look like to you? What does a healthy relationship look like to you? How do you want to feel about it? How do you want to feel about the person? How do you want them to feel about you and everything in between? This is what I mean by being clear, okay? I always see be generally uh, specific, generally specific. So what do I mean by that? I mean, okay, let's say you're, you're inviting the possibility of being married to this person, right? You're deciding that you want to marry this person, right? So as part of a marriage, you're going to be living together, right? So maybe you define the kind of house that you'd like to live in from a general aspect, right? For example, a beautiful lakeside house, right? You don't need to be super specific about that unless you want to because your mind already knows that, okay, we're living in a lakeside house. That automatically employs that we're doing financially well. That automatically employs that it's going to be a nice looking house on the inside and potentially the outside as well. Based on what you've seen in literature, movies, etc. Okay. So that's what I mean by being uh, general, excuse me. What I mean by being specific is, okay, so you're being married to this person, you're married to this person, you're, you're living with them in this beautiful house. How does it feel being married to this person and living in this house? How does that feel? How does it feel to be the owner of that house? And you be specific from that sense, right? So this is what I mean by being clear about what you want. So this is the first thing I really wish that I knew when I um, first started manifesting. Seriously, like it's a, it's a game changer. The second thing that I wish I knew was to stop ignoring the reality. Stop ignoring the negatives when they come up to the surface because here's the deal. And this is a huge thing. This is something that I've done most of my life because I always um, got told, oh, ignore your negative feelings, ignore it, just make pretend like it's not happening, blah, blah, blah. What happens for most individuals when they take that route is it leads them to an unconscious healthy suppression, okay? Excuse me, an unconscious unhealthy suppression, okay? Meaning you're suppressing, you're bottling it inside instead of dealing with it, okay? So what do I mean by um, refraining from ignoring the reality? Okay, sorry, I had to think about that for a second. What do I mean by refraining from ignoring the reality? I mean, stop ignoring and start accepting. Think about it like this. Ignoring leads to unhealthy delusion and suppression. Think about a water cup, right? Like a cup of water. What happens when you overfill it? It starts leaking out from the side, right? That's not good, right? What happens when you continue to suppress the negatives in within you? You're bottling it inside, bottling it, bottling it, bottling it until it comes out to the surface. And then you snap, you get angry, you get sad, you get emotional. But if you choose to take the path of acceptance, acceptance does not mean you settle. Acceptance means that you accept what has happened, what is, what is going on, what will be, etc. And through that path of acceptance, you learn to detach. You learn to detach from the negatives. You learn to detach from what is bothering you. It does not mean you're settling. 
you're either going to ignore it or you're going to accept it, okay? But you see, when we talk about acceptance within this community, for some weird reason, people think that that means you're settling. Like, I'm gonna accept what is, I don't wanna do that. That's not what I'm saying. Acceptance is an internal state of peace. It's an internal state of calmness. When you learn to accept your negatives in the moment instead of rejecting them by ignoring them and pretending like everything's okay when clearly there's something that needs to be addressed, it will make all the difference. I allow myself to make peace and accept my reality as a whole. Okay, so the third thing that I wish I knew when I first started uh, manifesting, and, and this is an obvious thing, that's why I saved it for the last Stop manipulating the time frames and the how. Meaning stop attempting to control everything. Yes, we are the opera and power of our reality and we are in control, but you do not need to be sitting there involving yourself in a position of constantly attempting to control every aspect of everything in your life. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. Okay? Get out of your own way. Okay? Um, so that's the thing. It's, 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 a very, it's a very profound experience to get yourself in a position of just releasing the need to control. It's such a calm, peaceful way to live life, guys. I'm telling you, drop the ego. Get out of your own way. Decide that. Make a decision and stick to that. Okay? So powerful. So goddamn powerful. So that's it. Those are the three things I wish I knew. Just to summarize it, number one, be clear about what you want on a deep, intimate level within yourself. Number two, stop ignoring the reality and start accepting. And number three, drop the need to control the how and the when. So I'm intending that this helps you if you desire one-on-one -on -one coaching, or as I call it now, mentoring. I define myself as being a mentor. I feel like it's more accurate terminology. If you're interested, check the first pinned comment down below. Feel free to swing me a message. I will help you. Otherwise, you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. Stay safe. Take care and much love.